So we're out boondocking in Montana and you're gonna have to bear with the generator in the background because it's running everything for us. Um, but we had a problem, we got here. We were staying in town, um, we're just outside of Bozeman and we were at a park and we had everything plugged in, everything was good, uh, power only because it's still neurotic here with the weather and so things are freezing. But we had no problem with our hot water working off of electrical and gas and everything was great and then we got to boondogging and we've been out with, we've been without hot water for two days went back to town where we had service and did some research and they uh blogs and stuff that i was reading all the the websites everybody's talking about some circuit boards that are bad uh, but in my case it was this little sucker right here this is a thermal fuse and it's on my dometic six gallon uh, hot water heater in my 2021 2600 RB Grand Design Imagine trailer. Um, I called Grand Design, told them what the problem was, and the problem was no electrical, so running off my generator, I couldn't heat water, and propane wouldn't work. Like, no gas, nothing. It just, nothing would work at all. And when I called them uh, and talked to them, I'm, I'm out of warranty, but they put me in touch with the tech, and he immediately said, this thermal fuse was the problem uh, more than likely and luckily we were able to go to big sky rv uh shout out to them because they are super friendly very knowledgeable the guy as soon as i said i got a hot water heater not working and i think it's some thermal and he goes fuse i'll be right back he disappeared and about 35 seconds he came back with a bag that has two of these in it uh, it comes as a kit because they burn out all the time so you'll end up with two so uh, as well as the pigtail um, to be able to splice in if the wiring melts. The purpose of this, according to the tech, is that if your uh, propane flames out, it will melt this and that will shut off all power to the propane uh, tank, or to the, not to the propane tank, I'm sorry, to the hot water heater. Um, so it's not about resistance in the line as much as it's about actual fire burning out. You test this not working by disconnecting it, taking it out, pulling the line off the other end and just plugging the line into the T-STAT connection directly and turning on um, your gas just momentarily. You don't wanna leave it running because again, if it flames out, that'd be bad. Turn it on, make sure it actually is gonna produce gas, ignite and run, uh, and then you know your electric works. So you could take this out and run without it as long as, according to the tech, you're doing it with um, just the electric heating of your hot water heater. If you're using propane, you need this little sucker. 20 bucks for two of them at the place I went to here in Montana. So uh, I'll show you a quick picture of what mine looks like so you'll know, and I'll circle the area where you can look, but it's about dead center. Brown wire goes right to the end of this and then it connects into the T-stat. So uh, I'll also include a picture of the bag that has the part number on for you. Hope that helps somebody. Uh, for me, I was super stressed out, pissed off because we're sitting out here dead in the water with no, no hot water uh, and cold showers suck and washing everything uh, else, dishes and stuff with cold water sucks uh, just about as much. So it made me happy that it was something as simple as this that I could fix and not some circuit board I had to uh, order from some other part of the country. So good luck and we'll talk to you again somewhere down the road.